Hey guys, good afternoon. Just want to show you something that we actually run into. I don't stage any of this stuff, by the way. This is what I find. As long as you keep your eyes open and you really look carefully, you can find a lot of problems. But this is a dangerous one. Always, I always advise people, if you have anything with combustible gases, natural gas, oil, heat, propane, you should have a carbon monoxide detector. Here's the reason why. I'm definitely gonna let my customer know I am shutting down these few boilers because it is a safety concern. They will not freeze the building at this time. We're early enough in the season where I have caught this. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, we have a boiler. We have the flue piping. What is this? See that? That's a hole right on top, all right? Right on top. Okay, there's one I'm shutting down. Now, I have multiple other flue pipes. Okay. See all those little black dots, little specks? Those are pinholes. Those are pinholes. Flue gas is coming out of there. Not good, okay? Let me show you from the other side. You can actually see some daylight through there at the right angle. I don't know if the camera can pick it up. But again, not good. Now, something really not good. Okay. Definitely a broken flue pipe. I talked to the manufacturer and they want single wall AL29 stainless put on this. So I gathered all my information, took my measurements, shut down the boilers that I had to, and uh, sent in my quote to the shop. So we'll see where it goes from there. But yeah, safety first, everybody. You, you gotta think about human life uh, and take care of your customer. I mean, that's why we're here. Make every, everything run correctly and safely. Okay, guys? Have a good day, stay safe. Hey guys, good afternoon. I'm back at that location that had those faulty flue pipes. Like I was saying, pinholes. Let me shut off the light and I'm gonna shine my flashlight down through and show you what I mean. Got my flashlight. Let me stick it down in this pipe. Hopefully that's coming up on camera. Let me try to get my flashlight to strobe. Okay, so you do not want that venting into your customer's space. I mean, that's flue gas. You don't want that. Get headaches from it, get nauseous, get sick, eventually throw up, and uh, worst case scenario, uh, you pass out and die but you don't let it get to that point people okay other than that it's pretty solid <laughs> okay stay safe good afternoon i'm back at that location where we had all those flue pipes that had pinholes through them and it was leaking out into this big uh air handler room which is uh bad so uh, just to give a little uh, rundown here, I got a whole bunch of fittings. I got tubing, I got piping, I got all this stuff. Putting in the proper tubing what the manufacturer wants me to use. It actually has, let me get my flashlight, a little rubber ring in there. And then you crank down on it after when it's inserted up to that certain point. So it does not leak. The old stuff was nothing more than just crimped. And uh, as you can see, pinholes. Uh, flue gas is very acidic. Um, so it just was eaten through the pipe. So I'm just slowly replacing them one by one. So I gotta get back out of here. But always consult with the manufacturer. If you ever have any doubts of what needs to be done on equipment um, for specs, such as flue piping or gas piping or anything, piping, uh, glycol amount whatever it doesn't hurt to call the manufacturer it's not always about knowing everything in this field 
it's about finding it, looking it up, calling people, manufacturers. Okay, guys, stay safe. Have a good day. Yeah, there's your flue gas. It's what you don't want to breathe in. I'm just gonna temporarily seal these off just so I can get back and finish the rest. I got a, an emergency service call I gotta jump on. Okay guys, stay safe. Nice and sunny out, that's a good thing. Need the sun everybody.